Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to another Sunday cook with me. Well, this is going to be the last Sunday of what I called Simply Elegant Meals. And my Simply Elegant meal for tonight had a little hiccup. I was going to originally incorporate a, an acorn squash, but when I cut the acorn squash in half, it didn't look like an acorn squash that I wanted to eat. So, <clears throat> like any good cook, you drop back 10 yards and punt. So anyway, tonight we're going to be making seafood casserole. It is probably the easiest casserole you'll ever make in your life. But it is delicious. Now, I'm from New England, so I'm going to be using a Ritz cracker crumb topping, which is what normally is used for a lot of the New England baked dishes. And I think, now a seafood casserole is nothing extraordinary. It is more expensive than your average dinner, but we're talking things for special occasions, so you can put out a little bit extra for the, for the special occasion. Now, I also know there are a number of you out there who are not seafood lovers. But coming from New England, we are. And so I make this quite often, actually. Now, I'm going to be using shrimp and scallops. I always have a couple of bags of frozen shrimp in my freezer um, of different sizes. And I get them at Sam's for the most part. And they're very good. And tonight I'm going to be using what's called Premium Jumbo Scallops. You know, I'll show you the sign of the top of the package. Okay. And I got those from Aldi's. Now, I, I know you can buy fresh scallops at $22 a pound. Um, I didn't want to spend that kind of money, and I have had all these frozen scallops on several occasions, and they are very good. I have no problems with them whatsoever. So I'm going to be showing you how you can take, which is a very simple casserole. It's just fish and cracker crumbs and a few spices, and just serve it a little differently. And the, the way you serve it a little differently is the vessel you serve it in. Now you can put it all in a big bowl and put it on the table fine. I'm going to use gratin dishes. And you know what makes that nice is when you, and I, you can do that same casserole for six or eight people in six or eight gratin dishes. And what makes that kind of special is because you serve them like, this is mine, you know, and you can serve it uh, on a plate and put the sides next to it. Now, tonight, I'm going to serve it with the sides, a very little sides. It's a very rich casserole. So I'm just going to use some probably sliced cucumbers and tomatoes as a side, and that's it. It doesn't need potato because of all of the crackers. you got all the carbs you need right there and more. So anyway, let's take you down to the counter and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put this seafood casserole together. And I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to start by taking a sleeve of Ritz crackers and putting them in a gallon bag. And I'm going to use my rolling pin to roll them out. I think that gets me a nice the kind of crumbs that I like. You know, a lot of people do this in the cracker package and, and haven't had a lot of problems. I have tried it, and I've done it in the cracker package. 
But I'm always afraid the crackers are going to burst open and I'm going to have Ritz cracker crumbs all over the place. So it's just as easy for me to put it into this bag. And how easy is that? We have a bag of crumbs. Now I have a half a stick of butter here, very soft. And I'm going to add that to it. And I'm going to close up this bag. And I'm going to start to get the air out. And I'm going to start squishing and rolling that butter around and trying to get all of it. And I'm going to crack it comes up and the butter down. of buttered cracker crumbs. All right, so now let's get the gratin dishes. Whoops. Hopefully not dropping them. Okay. And my fish. I said I'm using shrimp and scallops and I am going to get a paper towel I've had them draining and using paper towel but I'm going to just see if I can get a little bit more let me see if I can get you in a little bit better picture hold on there you go. See if I can get a little bit more of that water out of them. Of course, they were frozen, so they're, they have water. Okay. So I am just now going to divvy up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. And look at lots of scallops. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we are. And you can, you know, mix them around a little bit so they're not all together. What a lovely casserole that is. Let me just wash my hands. top these with a little bit of garlic powder. Not much, a very little bit because we want to taste the seafood. And a little bit of Now, a lot of people put some heavy cream and sherry or half and half and sherry, but um, my husband does not like a wet casserole, so I don't put that in there. So that's it. Oh, I'm going to add a nice 
bit of pepper. No salt. Because the cracker crumbs are loaded with salt. And I will mild these crumbs up. I want to cover every little piece. And there you go, that is ready to go in the oven. Now I have a pan here that I have covered in foil. Only reason I covered it in foil is because it's ugly. <laughs> but I put it on a pan because if they should bubble over, I don't want um, it to go in the bottom of my oven. Now these are going in a 375 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until the crumbs are nice and brown and the fish are cooked. So I'll see you back as soon as they're done. Hang in there. Well here they are, right out of the oven. And they are very hot. And as you see I'm serving them with just some cucumbers and tomatoes because they're very rich. And you really don't need anything else to go with it. So I'm going to try to transfer one of these over here. And I don't know if I can give it a taste test or not. I'll try. of scallop here. It's hot though. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Sorry, but scallops are so sweet. They are just so sweet. Oh my gosh. So, here's my thing. Coming up a little bit more. Um, now, we love the scallops and, and shrimp. If you don't like scallops or you don't like shrimp, use crab meat. Even use that um, langostino, the, the imitation crab meat. You can make a nice little casserole. And the thing of it is, is that the big difference with this one is that I made it in a, a fancy dish. I could have put the same thing in a regular casserole dish. It would have been fine. But it's in a fancy dish. So I hope you all have a chance to try something like that. And I'm not going to stay on much longer because I don't want to get cold and I'm going to eat my dinner. So I hope you all have a great afternoon. 
Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you Tuesday. Until then, stay safe, stay warm, stay cool. Please, everybody, pray for those in the path of Ida. She's a real something that we all could say. And I'll see you Tuesday. Until then, wear your mask, get a vaccine, and play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.